यू नो पावर बी आई बट स्टिल यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन योर माइंड हाउ डज इट हैपन वाई इट हैपन्स हाउ कैन आई डू दैट दिस इज द सीरीज फॉर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ एफ सेक्स थी सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू डील विद डबल हैटर now what is this double header so let me show you one data and then you will understand what this double header means for us so let me try to import an excel file and let's look at that so i wanted to import this double header uh, excel file so what i have done is basically uh, i went to the power bi and in the power bi in the middle of the screen we have this import uh, file from excel i clicked on that so that was the option which i used to quickly get the excel file and then i am getting this double header file and once i get this double header file let me say open so once i say open let's see preview of this file so when you look at the preview of this file you this file is not exactly like this let me bring in this file uh, uh, for you to have a look at it so this is how it is looking but actually this file is little bit different this is how this file looks like so this file has this header and this header and then this there is another header basically so what is making that difficult in the power bi is basically we don't understand this kind of data and any time you can bring this kind of data one of the advice i give is that no this is not the source data this cannot be source data you might be getting it already from certain report or maybe you are getting from a someone else who sending the report and sometime what happens you don't have any other option you are getting it from uh, someone else and that's a source for you so how to deal with this double headers now to let's now we know the challenge now so what we are going to do we can't directly bring this data and whenever we can't directly bring such data into power bi we don't load it we go to the transform data so what we we click here on the transform data button the second button which was available here so now we have clicked on the transform data we reached in the power bi so first thing which came to our mind is basically okay let's move it to header and then do uh, the unpivot so so let's say if i have this row i say okay use first row as head as header now what would happen in that case is when i use the first row as header it will actually make these columns i say okay i'll replace all of this column with null i'll say fill down and all those i'll do okay fine so then when i say i'll click on this one and then i'll go to transform transform and in the unpivot columns i will use this option unpivot other columns isn't it that's the option which comes to our mind that's pretty handy option which we have so unpivot other columns so we say okay fine let's use this option so and by what other columns and but what would that do is basically that will bring all these quarter values here one place and that is what we don't want so we need something else to do this now we already added this step and power query the good thing is if we have added certain steps and you can see on the right hand side this property where we can see all the steps that we can delete these steps which we don't want so i'm going to delete this step i'm going to come back i even don't need this change type promote header so first thing what we are going to do here is basically click here back again and do transpose okay so we have to transpose the table now once we transpose the table what you see here is basically you already got this year category abc and all those now either you can say fill down here or you can wait for that to you know to move this header as the first column so let's move this first row as a header now and i can say use first row as header this is the option available in the middle of the screen here i am highlighting it if you can see here the bigger box i am drawing so that you get an attention here now use first row as header i do that after i do that the second step i need to do is there are you know these values are still not completely filled so for that if you remember we have option fill up and fill down that's available in the transform fill fill up and fill down let me highlight for you so this is the same option available in excel those of you you know who do excel heavily knows this or here also we have an option right click and fill up and fill down so i'm going to use fill down because right now i know if i fill down i'm going to get the correct yes now what next from here now we know these two columns are the one which is basically we have actually got in the headers and these are our row columns now everything is right now in the correct shape other than these column which are a b c d e f whatever number of rows so what we do is we select these two columns now and again we go to pivot unpivot columns and we say unpivot other columns 
now you can see the year is there the category is there now your columns a b c d is there and value is there now the only thing which we have to do is we have to rename these columns and uh, those of you watching the channel i think we have an option here also uh, we actually it's not necessary that we say attribute we can actually call it let's say category and value is let's say value only because category already exists so we have to say category we can call it subcategory isn't it so we got subcategory and value so these names are not like it's going to be attribute and value always you can choose anything or we would like to say let's say this is target or sales i can say that so now you know how to deal with double header but it doesn't mean that i am advising you to bring such kind of data in power bi we should avoid bringing in such kind of data if you are getting it from the report which is owned by your organization please ask for the sources and bring in the correct data unnecessary transformations are not needed we should always go to the source because what happen if these aggregations are average then we don't know the actual data so if it is some aggregation then you say okay it's fine but average and average and then doing again average will not result in the same things which you are going to get in the in another report which is again coming from your source data so always try to bring in the data which is right now in the format which is row column format from the sources yes you may come across a situation where you can't get it because it's external source which is giving you in such cases use the power of power query to solve such problems so now the last step close and apply you got your table inside the power bi all corrected in so go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comment subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you